no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net This year's presidential election will be stolen and I'm not saying this coming from one side or the other. I think the vast majority of politicians are puppets designed to distract and confuse, bewilder and bemuse while the real shit is going down. Kind of like a magic trick, Inst except instead of being distracted from the fact that your wristwatch was taken off your wrist, the average citizen is distracted from the LIBOR banking scandal. Anyway, not only will the election be stolen, but it is being stolen right now. Right now, the Republicans are working their asses off to make sure as many people as possible are knocked off the voter rolls in swing states. It's called purging, kind of like when a bulimic person throws up their meal, but instead of vomit, it's a pile of chewed up democracy all over the carpet. So in 2008, 767,000 provisional ballots were cast and never counted. A provisional ballot is equivalent to writing your vote in a fart. You're left with nothing but a faint bad smell. If a poll worker hands you a provisional ballot, they're handing you a piece of paper that says, here's an idea, Go fuck yourself. Don't accept it. Tell them you want a real ballot or you want a definitive reason you can't have one. Then drop your pants and moon them. Then ask if you can borrow their pen and draw an American flag on your ass. But keep in mind, it takes some skill to draw on your own ass, so you might want to use the buddy system and have someone help you out. Also in 2008, 1.5 million ballots were quote-unquote spoiled and not counted. Spoiled is an interesting term that generally means a Republican official didn't like the vote. Often they'll say the name looks suspicious. What kind of names look suspicious to Republican officials? Black and Hispanic names. I mean, it's understandable. You look at a name like Juarez and it just looks spoiled. What the fuck's the matter with it? It's got a J acting like a W. That's as suspicious as a Muslim in an airport, I tell you. In 2008, nearly half a million absentee votes were mailed in and never counted. A lot of those were active service military. But you know, who are they to vote? Nothing is more un-American than being stationed in Qatar. So far, that adds up to 3 million votes not counted. But we're just getting started. In 2008, 2.3 million people wanted to vote, but had their registration rejected. Probably suspicious names again. Half a million registered voters were wrongly cut from voter rolls, and 320,000 registered voters were turned away from voting for God knows what reason. Probably because their skin color looked either suspicious or spoiled. And now, in 2012, the right wing is really kicking into high gear. If they were dickheads in 2008, then they're the whole throbbing dick now. The Wisconsin recall of Scott Walker was the test run, and it went swimmingly. Hundreds of thousands of people were stopped from voting, and Walker was able to stand up and say, look, when only the right kind of people vote, I win easily. The right wing is stopping people from voting under the guise of voter fraud. Unfortunately, the type of fraud they're talking about almost never happens. And it makes sense that it never happens, because who wants to go to jail just to cast a vote for one of these cunts. You'd have to be out of your fucking mind. If you're gonna risk your freedom, do it for a bank robbery or running naked through a church or something with a good story behind it at least. You know, and, and besides, you know how much you'd get beat up in prison if people were like, what are you in for? I said my name was Mickey Mouse when I went to vote, so back the fuck up. So in an attempt to fight a crime that never happens, the right wing is cutting millions of people from the voter rolls. And why aren't the Democrats in power stopping it? Because most of them are rich and corporate too, and they don't give a fuck. This isn't right versus left, this is rich versus poor. In this country, the rich white people are losing control like a drunk chick in Cancun on spring break, and purging poor people from the voting rolls is their way of making sure that doesn't happen. They, you, 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 you may not love the Democrats, all right, but this isn't about them. This this is about salvaging the little rancid shards of our democracy that are actually still salvageable and they're poking into the ass of the gargantuanly rich motherfuckers. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net, coming to you today from Las Vegas. This was just part one of a three-part series on how our democracy is being stolen. It's based largely on information and reporting done by Greg Pallast in his upcoming book, Billionaires and Ballot Bandits. I highly recommend you grab the book at BallotBandits.org. Plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.